All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to Same Circle Wrestling. We actually have a name this time. Uh, it's been a while since we did an episode. It's been uh, relatively shitty weather, um, and we haven't been able to get everybody together. So uh, we've got a little group of three, uh, and we're going to kind of go over the Royal Rumble, talk about what we think is going to go down. We want to talk a little bit about NXT um, because... It's been so long since we've done one that it's kind of hard to fit everything in. We'll probably do another one after Raw this week, but for now we're going to go over Royal Rumble. Uh, and uh, essentially what we've been looking at from a very reputable source, uh, also <laughs> known as Wikipedia, <laughs> um, <laughs> is that hard the, the, yeah, the only confirmed matches as of right now are that triple threat match and, well, obviously the Royal Rumble, and then a uh, tag team match between the Usos and uh, the Miz and Mizdow for the tag team championship. Mm -hmm. Which, honestly, that's going to be, like, I think that's going to be a Miz and Mizdow victory. I think, honestly, though, I think Mizdow is going to break off pretty soon. I think he has to. I mean, there's only so long that you can do this stunt double stuff. Yeah, and they, stuff. I think they've been kind of hinting to it right. as well. I think they finally have been like, yeah, you paid your dues. Time to let you go back to being, uh, what was his gimmick before? He's just kind of the smart guy. Yeah, the smart Which guy. Which I think that's the question for me is whether they're going to give him that gimmick back. I don't or... think you can. I think you got to go, they have to go a different route. You right. know, I think he's going to have, he'll have new music. He no. has to. He almost got to go a comedy route too, because yeah. he's winning everybody over with that. Mm -hmm. I feel like the intellectual savior gimmick still has legs, but it's just been so far past that you right. really can't go with it. Well, I feel like they, what, what was that? Uh, they tried doing it with a uh, striker there, right? When he when he was there as like the teacher type thing, and then they went with him. And yeah, um, I don't know. Maybe they'll save it for some other guy, you know, that comes up. But they might go like a. Uh, yeah, I think you almost have to do the the uh, comedic route mm -hmm. type thing. With I, I think uh, honestly, I think Mizdow can work with anything. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's basically proven that already. If he wants a job, <laughs> mm, turn shit into gold. Yeah, you just gotta learn to not. Now, did you see that? That, that was, was so incredible. sick. Yeah, we're we're watching the NXT main event from this week. Uh, Sami Zayn, Adrian Neville for the championship, and I thought this was a great match. Um, especially the spots at the end with the Hurricane Ranas that Neville does. Um, I have actually seen this one. That's so sad. See, and Zayn reminds me of Ziggler. They can literally sell anything. Mm. Yeah. Doesn't matter if they're getting flung off a top row, if they're taking a clothesline drop kick, anything like that. They just sell everything perfectly. And I remember saying uh, before this aired that if Neville loses, there's a good chance that he'll he'll show up in the Royal Rumble. How do you think they integrate him though? Because that's like. I, I just don't see how they would just shoot him up. Is that just like because he had the title for so long and now he's not? Getting he's had the there? title for a long time, so they can consider him him right. like a, a reputable uh, character. They've done it before. He's got a tiny dick with NXT guys. Yeah, they uh, managed to pull it off in the Rumble last that's so year with sick. Rusev. And Rusev. I love that. No power titles up. or anything. He was just dominant. Right. Yeah, the Blue Thunder Bomb's cool too. That's um, one of my favorite moves. But there, these spots at the end of this match were just phenomenal. Yeah. Um, ultimately, this is the best match I've seen on NXT in, right. in a while. Just this replay, just ah. Um, but like I said, if <laughs> if, if they're gonna bring anybody new into the Rumble from NXT, it's gonna be Adrian Neville. Well, do you think they bring in um, uh, Tyson then because of the tag team with him and Cesaro? All right, Tyson should absolutely be like him and there. Cesaro. I think maybe that's kind of where they make their stamp as that tag team, where they come in as individuals, but they start doing they, work yeah. in it. You know, because there's always that one tag team. I, I wouldn't doubt that they come in, right? Because uh, I mean, Goldust and Stardust will be in there too, right? Oh I yeah, them. You think uh, New Day? That's comes possible. In? Maybe not. The whole Whoa. Team. But uh, I think they'll definitely have a couple tag teams thrown in there. Right. I don't think the Ascension will be in there. No, but yeah, no, because they oh, that, yeah. they haven't uh, they haven't really done anything with them yet. <laughs> oh my god! If you hear me freak out, this match is I haven't seen this match and I'm watching this. Yeah, I'd say if you if you didn't watch if you don't watch NXT, you gotta watch this match. Holy shit! It is Damn. outrageous. Um. Okay, so 
Anyway, for the Royal Rumble, they have oh wait confirmed quick, entrance as far as wait predictions for the Usos and Miz. oh yeah yeah sorry. What do you think, Bill? I'm feeling honestly the back of my head. I'm saying the Usos will probably win just because that's what the Usos do. But I would really like to see the Miz and Miz Dow get their titles back. I, I think yeah, I think the Usos are gonna win. Now that I think about it, though, I'm gonna say the Usos as well because, like we were saying. Sandow is going to be going single soon. Mm-hmm. So I don't think they're going to want to give the belts back to them. Maybe that starts your new feud, like Miz and Mizdow. Right, yeah, there like, could be something that happens <coughs> during that match that mm-hmm. breaks them up. Didn't mean to cut you off, sorry. <laughs> I would like to see Mizdow have his moment breaking off with the Miz. I would like to see that happen at WrestleMania, but I kind of feel like that's just dragging it out too long. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. But then again, what do you do with either of those guys at WrestleMania? Exactly. exactly. You can't. I mean, you could probably just throw the Miz. I'm sure you could tie him into the uh, Intercontinental. Oh yeah. Title somehow like that. The Miz could work for it, but you can't just throw Sandow into WrestleMania. Right. Now that's not good for your spine. That landing right no, there. No. Um. Uh, so Miz yeah. versus Miz Dow could work at WrestleMania. Uh, it could. Work yeah, it's like a, a like a. Lead off match or like right, a second right. match, like, something like, like that. Like those uh, pre-show right. matches or whatever. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Once he once the turn happens, it's going to be a very hot feud. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm waiting for the spot. Oh, it's right here. Yeah. Uh, the dive Zane through. The dive goes through. for the dive through, this. but but Neville, watch this. This is cool. Neville cuts it off. Oh. Right. Yeah, that was a pretty cool spot. Eat a dick. But uh, that that tornado DT does through the ropes is cool. I I've never. It's cool to see guys like this that they bring in that I just, at some point you'd think moves just have to run out. Like people right. just have to do right. moves that, more aggressive or alternate them. That's one of the, that's something I've never seen before in my entire life. I dive through tornadoes. That's what I like about NXT is these guys, like, they got to make a name for themselves somehow. Mm-hmm. So they're, they're throwing out moves like this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, he, you know, like the red arrow is a cool move. Mm-hmm. I think Adrian Neville's just a good athlete overall. Yeah, he he's really big and like he doesn't look like he's a. High there's fighter. there's a video on YouTube of him dunking. Oh really? Yeah. What? It's what? nuts. <laughs> he jumps up, just two hands, one, and you're like, oh okay. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he's five like ten, so he's like my height. Mm-hmm. Like, I, cause I'm five, I'm five eleven, six foot on a good day, but. So he's pretty much my height, and he's just jumping up, dunking a basketball. Yeah, and he with can, these. you can fly. Yeah. yeah. He's got it all. Awesome. Back to what you said, Neville is an incredible athlete. Most known mm-hmm. as a high flyer, but I feel like his strength is highly underrated. Yeah. I mean, right. look at the dude. He's huge. Well, that's the thing. is He's he's really well balanced as far as he can do those like high-risk moves. And at the same time, he's got power behind yeah, those. Strength. Yeah, strength. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so Royal Rumble. Uh, they have the confirmed entrance as far as, as of right now, whatever today is. Um, uh, Roman Reigns, Daniel Bryan, Rusev, Bray Wyatt. Uh, obviously, Barrett is going to be in there because he's been part of the storyline lately. Just won a title. <clears throat> Dean Ambrose, another obvious. Goldust and Stardust, Big Show, he's always in there. Kane is always in there. Uh, Hulk Hogan is in there. Dolph Ziggler, Eric Rowan, Ryback. Those are who is confirmed so far for the Royal Rumble. So, honestly, out of that, like you got to pick somebody like a Roman Reigns. I, or... I, I think flat out Roman Reigns wins it. I right. think he has to because I mean, because of the implications of the match, just well, in general. Yeah, and he's the only one that came out and said that he was just going to go through and do work. Like after his. What did he did he beat Kane's record last year or did he tie yeah. it? No, he, he did, beat it. He beat it. He it. has to win it because like they before he got hurt, he was supposed to be on the rise as like the next big thing. Like he was supposed to be, you know, have that Cena type push where mm-hmm. they kind of you know push him to the top tier. But I think he's the only one that's like declared like I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna destroy everyone. It's either I bet you yeah. it, it'll come down to him I, and I someone. Think, yeah, for sure. Which which. I, I was thinking Dean Ambrose as well because he's really the only other guy you can think about that's going to get a push right. yeah. in the near future. Because Daniel Bryan isn't going to get a push to WrestleMania. He's already done his WrestleMania duties. Right. That's uh, the thing, though. But, is if Daniel Bryan doesn't win, 
being a Philadelphia crowd, they could very well shit on it the same way right. they shit on the Royal Rumble. But in you Pittsburgh can also last year. like right. with the Daniel Bryan. Thing, I wouldn't be surprised if it came down to Bryan and Reigns. Like if it comes down to that, I was even thinking that, two guys. Either that or uh, that's a really Reigns. good way to get the crowd to turn on Reigns completely. Though. Right or Reigns right. and Ambrose. But the thing about it is that Reigns is losing momentum in my mind. Yeah, because a lot of people are realizing yeah. that he's not as good on the mic as you know they they lead to believe him. <laughs> you ever seen those memes where <laughs> lead him to, lead you to believe? Yeah, I was trying to say. you ever seen those those memes where he comes in the ring and he's looking around and you hear Jr.'s commentary in the back? He's like, "No, no, don't do <laughs> oh, it! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, <laughs> don't do it!" And he's Roman Reigns picks up the mic, yeah. yeah, and he's like, "Oh God, no!" Oh, it's my favorite. <laughs> it's my favorite <laughs> thing in the world. <laughs> Two Reigns' credit, his delivery on the promos is he got slowly better. getting better. Oh, it's getting better, yeah. The writing you know they're do, giving him I would is cock even here worse. this fist, and I'd make it rain up in that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> the, the promo Drops they Mike. gave him on last week's SmackDown. That was I good. Believe, the quote he gave... <laughs> He told Seth Rollins, you're full of suffering succotash. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, where I was that, like, oh, that. no. <laughs> Did you watch that video that I posted on my timeline? Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was classic. <laughs> uh, um, Tell him about it. It basically is just like a Looney Tunes version of everything Roman Reigns has been saying. Because he stutters like a motherfucker. <laughs> 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 so, like... <laughs> I don't know. You, you gotta find it online. It's on YouTube somewhere. Mm-hmm. I forgot what it's called. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know. If I can find the name of it, I'll I'll throw it in here somewhere. So, who's your prediction for winner of Rumble? I'll just go right down the line. Ultimately, the prediction. Mm. Uh, all right, all right. Give me your final. Give me your final four and who wins. A final four. I'm thinking it's going to be Reigns. Brian, Rusev, and probably, probably Ambrose. You think? Because that it, way you get the chance for the Ambrose and Reigns interaction. Right. That's whichever what I was way too. that mm-hmm. goes. And but, I feel like you need an overheal to take out Daniel Bryan so that whoever eliminates him to win <clears throat> can get that rub. Right. So who do you think wins out of those? I'm th- I hate to say it, but I do think they're still going to go with Reigns. Yeah. Just right. because of how they've slowed up on him lately. Mm-hmm. What about you? I think ultimately it depends on when these people come in. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing is they're not listing when, like, their order number. Yeah. So, like, if Roman Reigns comes in first, he's an underdog. Like, he ain't going to last through the whole Rumble. But. Well- <clears throat> but he he's gonna break his elimination record. There's no question about that. Mm-hmm. No. Um, but ultimately, for the final four, Rusev's got to be in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is just going off of who's confirmed. It's very true. Yeah. You very know? true. Yeah. Like con- considering there's a <clears throat> lot of unannounced like uh, performers in the match. You know, I, you gotta assume that it's one of these guys. Mm-hmm. But I think. As far as Final Four, it would be Rusev, Ambrose, possibly Kane or Big Show, one of those big guys. True. I, I would assume. Yeah. Would be Especially with the authority type thing. Because the Royal Rumble is kind of built for that. Mm-hmm. I can just see and Big Roman Show Reigns. lasting that long. Right. <clears throat> so, and who do you have running it? Uh, I would say Roman Reigns. You say Reigns? So, Ultimately. I mean, we're pretty much all in agreement on Reigns. Um, my Final Four is it's a little different. I would say, I mean, Reigns. And I think I think we're all in agreement that Reigns and Rusev are both going to be there. I honestly think because if you look back at the last uh, five to ten Royal Rumbles, excuse me, there is always that one random guy in the final four that they all get in the four corners and they all look at each other. There's always been that one random one. Like a while ago, it was uh, like last year no, or uh, two years ago, nobody thought it'd be Ryback. And then you had, like, Carlito that one year. You had, like, you know, all those random ones. Ryback's not a bad pick either. Right, no. Yeah, true, true. Because Ryback's had some momentum. Didn't Santino make the final two? Yeah, Santino was in the final two, and he had a chance to win it, and then he started doing his trumpet shit, and they threw him out. Who was it? It was him and, uh, it was Orton? Yeah, I think it was Orton. Was that? Yeah. Yeah. 
I um, think Santino had a shot to win an elimination chamber, too. Yeah, he did. He Because he eliminated, like, four people. Right? He gets, like, the most bullshit yeah. pushes. <laughs> Not anymore. I don't understand it. But anyways, I'd say Reigns, Rusev. I think there's going to be a random... There, there's going to be someone random... And then I think uh, yeah, Daniel Bryan a, is in, yeah. Daniel Bryan is in the end. I think it's, I think, think it's Reigns. I think it comes down ultimately, excuse me, to uh, Reigns Bryan. Mm-hmm. I really think it does. I think with the the people that are confirmed the, here, yeah, just going off of that. Right. I think I guarantee you. I mean, Bill commented on it earlier before we started that Rob Van Dam's going to show up. I mean, they're in Philly. A lot of ECW guys are going to probably fill oh, yeah, most gonna of this stuff. So you're going to see, you're going to see like Tom and Dreamer. You're going to see RVD. You're probably going to see like, you know, I, I bet you, well, no, not Mick Foley. Uh, I feel like Tommy Dreamer's been working with TNA more lately. I, right. I feel like if, WWE oh, that's might true. be this reluctant is, that's true. to bring him in. Yeah, yeah. And this is the the pay-per-view that's like built for comebacks. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, you know, you're not going to be there. But then again, you know, WrestleMania is like that too. Mm-hmm. But this is the time of year when you see guys that you don't see all year. Yeah. So we're all in agreement that Roman Reigns probably wins. Right. I wouldn't hate now that I'm looking at these like confirmed. Like it's hard to say that Roman Reigns wins realistically because yeah. there's so much that like makes me. What feel if like it came down to Reigns, Ziggler, Roman, Ryback? Because like you could, it, like it could happen they, they could if you that. think about it. Like yeah. Roman's a. I mean, the only because you know there's there's got to be a big guy in there, right? right. Right, and but I mean, like I mean, Ryback, Reigns, Ziggler, you can all see them because you know they've gotten their push. Rowan, you could see because I mean he's a big guy, and he's doesn't his he's done his thing. I mean that only feeds into the. I would either take Kane uh, or yeah, I guess Kane or Rowan. Yeah, uh, it because would be Kane a good usually way to pull gets the trigger on Rowan. I just really yeah. hope I don't do some bullshit with like. Well, you know the authority's gonna show up some way somehow. They're gonna turn on it. Rollins. Yeah. <laughs> Cause you, I bet you that might happen. Cause WWE's pulled some shady shit like that, where they could be like, Rollins might lose the title, but or lose that title match, but then he'll come into the Rumble. Is, that's the Rumble's got to be after the match, right? Oh after yeah, yeah. Oh, it right? always Rumble's the last thing to go. Rumble's usually about an hour and a half to so two hours. If you think about it, that is a possibility as well. Yeah. Come in as number thirty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just I'm, I'm going to be real mad if that happens, but good then again, I won't. Yeah, you know right. what? That is a really good idea. Though. Now that I think... What if Lesnar came out? Because Rollins could easily win that Royal Rumble, and that would be a good candidate for that. And yeah, Rollins can sure shit work double duty, no and problem. And they, they do want to push Seth Rollins. Yeah, what if it came up Final 3, Reigns, Ambrose, Rollins? Oh if Rollins God. was in it? I'd lose my mind. Good. I'd absolutely lose my mind. I would be for that, definitely. Yeah. I'd definitely probably just jerk off to it. I wouldn't even watch. So I guess like it's kind of a toss up. <laughs> Realistically, it's a toss up. Yeah, hundred percent. It's a, honestly a toss up between. For me, it's Reigns. <laughs> it's Reigns or Rollins. They really have a good done a good job of backpedaling on Reigns just enough that right. the Royal Rumble isn't telegraphed well, it's he's for the been, first time in a few years. He's, yeah, he's been out too, so mm-hmm. you kind of can't help but backpedal a little. I bit. will. I will tell you this. Though. I mean, now that we're on this type of train of thought here. I will be pretty upset if Rollins somehow wins this. I would love it. I really? like Seth Rollins a lot. I, really uh, like I would Rollins. just hate if he had money in the bank, he had a championship match that night, and then all of a sudden it was a Royal Rumble. Like, come yeah. on. Yeah. God. I think it'd be cool. I understand the storyline. I get it, but... Uh, <laughs> but I feel right. They do need to do something to elevate Rollins to replace Lesnar. Realistically, he's almost already the but, top. He's right? Yeah, you gotta have he's, a heel somewhere. Yeah, he's out. Rollins is gonna replace Orton once Orton's done. But Orton, Orton, Orton could come back in the Rumble oh, too. Oh, true. We can't, we haven't even thought about Orton. Jeez. Oh, that's definitely what's happening because Orton's healthy. I don't know. Orton, I was thinking, because at the end of SmackDown, after Daniel Bryan beat Kane, Triple H made another match for the next SmackDown between Daniel Bryan and Kane. And if Daniel Bryan loses, he loses his spot in the Rumble. So I feel like that could be a spot for a comeback, either Orton or Ziggler, Rowan, and Ryback. Hmm. Okay. All right, we got to wrap it up pretty soon, but I want to talk about the Triple Threat match. Yep. Uh... Obviously, Lesnar's champion, Cena and Rollins, for the championship. Uh, you can't really say anything that, like, would make me think that Lesnar isn't going to retain. Right. True. I think they've uh, made Seth Rollins look so strong the past two weeks that there's no way he's winning this match. Just to go off of that, 
this is the first time I've seen them basically under pitch Cena. Like, see, yeah. like this is the first time in a long, t- like the first time I can remember in a long time that I have no faith in the Cena winning this match. It mm-hmm. literally is going to be either Lesnar retains, not, but S- Lesnar will not be getting pinned. No, 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 absolutely not. It's going to be, gonna be the, the only way yeah. Lesnar loses is if, is if Cena pins Rollins or vice versa. Right. But that pinfall will come between Cena and Rollins. It will not be Lesnar will not be a part of that unless well, I think Lesnar. It's it's tough to say because these triple threat things is like, mm-hmm. you know, he point. doesn't have to be involved. Mm-hmm. So Lesnar could very likely lose the belt because of the fact that he's been talking about going to UFC. Yeah. So if Cena or Rollins wins, if Cena pins Rollins, Lesnar's out of the picture either way. That's a very good point. This seems like the first match in a long time where Cena is probably the most likely man to eat the pin. Right. But I still I still say Lesnar simply because they're going to want him at WrestleMania. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think, I mean, you have to, <clears throat> excuse me, while he's out of the UFC, even if he's contemplating going back, you've got to use him up for yeah, yeah, the yeah. last three months exactly. as much as you can. Yeah. But this is, I mean... Just to go off of that too, like this is obviously I don't see Cena winning this, but I honestly I th- don't know who's gonna win. This is one I of the think, first I matches think, I've been like, damn, I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, mm. I think Lesnar pins Rollins. I think so. Too. And then Cena's out of the picture, and then Cena versus Brock at WrestleMania. Do you think? So we all pretty much think, cause okay, like we said, this is gonna be the match before the Rumble. The Rumble. Do you think? The winner of this. Any of those or more think, of those come come into the match, like the losers? I do think Rollins will be in the Rumble. That's what I think, too. But. I don't know about Lesnar and Cena, but I think Rollins right. will be there. Yeah, I would expect <clears throat> that. And like I said, Adrian Neville will... I am hoping that Adrian Neville is in I, I, I don't so. know, but I'm hoping that he is. That's my guess. I do find it likely. <laughs> I'm not sure about anyone else from NXT, really, but... Well, they haven't really Have given anyone, like, a big push out of that. Right. And they don't like to, they don't really uh, give you a lot of the uh, people that are in the Rumble either. Because <coughs> they like the element of surprise. Right. Yeah. And I think that's one of the big, best things they do. That's like, the best we talked part of the pay-per-view. Like, it's the best part of the Royal Rumble. It's probably the best selling one right after Royal, or, uh, WrestleMania, WrestleMania, excuse me. It has to be. Because, I mean, they, right. you never know. It leads right into it. Right. So. That's always one of my favorite pay-per-views to watch. And, and we, got, we got, we got a... A good twenty minutes, so it went longer than I expected. But so that's, that's good. What, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, yeah. So we'll try and do one uh, Monday after RAW. Uh, if we can get everybody together, we live like up near Lake Ontario, so everything's we get a lot of lake effect snow, and it's hard for people to get together. Sucks, asshole. Yeah, it's not fun. Uh, but anytime we can get together, we're gonna do it, and we'll put it out the next day. This will be up. The day after we record every time. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for listening. I'm Seth Skinner. I'm Bill Harrison. And I'm Gary Carpentier. And, uh-